a marching order from Chile. This family from Venezuela had hoped to find safety and a better life here. But these children feel overwhelmed as their dream ends in the northern province of Iquique. As soldiers search through their luggage, one shouts, once you go to Bolivia, you cannot come back to Chile. They told us that they would not let us pass, that Venezuelans could not pass, that if we set foot on Chilean soil, they would not be responsible for what could happen to us. They treated us badly. The government had imposed a 15-day state of emergency after a truck driver was killed last week. It blamed migrants for the death. The military has bolstered its forces in the border regions of Arica, Parincota, Camarugal and Loire, with more than 700 additional soldiers and police. President Sebastián Piñera says a state of emergency is needed to maintain security and public order. A crackdown on migrants was launched earlier this month after two died from exposure as they tried to enter the Northern Pass. Those traveling into Chile face temperatures that are extremely hot in the day and freezing at night. This is Route 15 from Bolivia. Many try to hitchhike or walk, but it's a very long road. The emergency measures are also affecting locals in Chile. It's usually easy for them to cross the 800 kilometer border with Bolivia to stock up on goods. I came to buy merchandise and cooking gas because I ran out. And I can't cook with firewood because it's raining. I came to buy more gas, but they won't let me in. Coming from so far away, now I have to go back without gas. Unfortunately, as a result of the state of emergency decree, there are food shortages in our community because Colchani residents cannot go to Bolivia to buy basic goods. Many people from Venezuela, like this family, say it's difficult to return home because of economic hardship. Now they're not wanted in Chile, it's uncertain where their journey will end. Laura Bertamani, Al Jazeera.